Hi, I'm Talita Yamana. And I'm Veronica Matos. And today we'll be discussing about the school system in America and how basically it needs a reformation. Fun stuff. <laughs> so, um, I feel like ever since we were kids, or at least for me personally, I've always been a straight A student up to like a certain point where I started realizing where I started realizing that really like as much effort as I put into like getting good grades and everything throughout elementary school it never like will actually help me when it gets to like real life yeah I agree with you I feel like there's like a large amount of pressure focused so much on the different classes we have where it's going to be meaningless to actual life skills we won't right. have developed necessary life skills like how do we do our taxes how do we like do checks like we don't even know basic household necessity skills like the classes and the things that we learned there most of it is not even going to be applied right. somewhere else i feel like most of the time they give us the core things obviously there's a bunch of things that we will use in whatever field we decide to like have a career in specific but in terms of like how much pressure there is for you to succeed and actually like excel at school to be like one of the top ones or like what's it called when you're valley victorian yeah Yeah. yeah, that (laughs) like um i feel like there are so many things that they don't consider like i feel like students need a chance to be thinking outside of the box so they can exceed in doing something that they actually enjoy and be prepared for real life like you said like taxes and everything yeah i agree with you also on the college aspect i feel like if students are not accounted for their actual like life skills like what they can do for themselves how are they supposed to apply what they learned and create something with exactly themselves? it's like, like being spoon-fed information and just retaining it to yeah retain it. you're not learning what you want to learn you're learning what you have to, to. yeah exactly. exactly and then you show up to the job and it's like it's like how you need experience to get into the job but you won't get it until you have the experience from the job it's just like an end you don't cycle. have the opportunity exactly to get the experience they, it's kind of like manifested to just be like here's all the information but you have to figure out your own information to do what you want and succeed in life because if anybody like anybody can be like successful financially if they really work hard and grind but they get stuck in an office job like a cubicle and they don't enjoy doing it at all right so i feel like if they start thinking and modifying the system to be more of like an outside of the box perspective to give people a chance to succeed doing something they actually want to do in the future that's what's really gonna like reform the way we we start thinking of school Not only that, but I feel like, in addition, they should have more focus on instead, like, applying what we learn in school and going outside of the box, like you said, and instead focusing on, like, creating projects and actually making real things out of it with ourselves. Because, first of all, you you gain experience from that. That's something that you can, like, mention in your resume. Like, you know how to actually apply the skills fundamentally and create something out of it. Whereas, you're just retaining information, you just repeat it, you learn it, learn it, you know. But basically, when you're actually able to create something like models or systems or be able to fully like dissect something and be able to be like, this is what it is. Yeah. You can do that You're for like, projects. That's what I like. You can do that for projects. You understand it. And you can, when you understand something, like you can actually enjoy it because you understand it. Yeah. Whereas if you're being forced information shoved down like, like an electric or anything you're like i get it but like what's the whole point you don't see the purpose there's of it. no correlation yeah. it doesn't matter to you so in the end it's really not gonna pay off it's not gonna stay with you yeah it's like for example like certain math skills right like some different teachers you might be focused on doing like a systematic thing where it's like okay you do this you do this this is the process but you don't know when to apply it yeah it's like you learn the math and you don't know when to apply it's the same thing in real life there's no reason no purpose exactly but i know in like personally like us being popular students they do give a like a bunch of opportunities for you to join a specific club or anything like that where you can actually indulge in your interests instead of just being like you know part of this thing where they just like give you what you need so i think that's a really good thing we have but for several other schools or at least majority of the people i know that don't go to my school they do struggle having like a constant pressure of succeeding and only having this narrow kind of vision, like tunnel vision, that they have to do A, B, and C to succeed or else it's not going to be worth that at all. But really, like, I feel like it's ironical because that's exactly the opposite. Like, you're doing all these things, but are you really going to succeed with these things? Like, this tool set isn't going to get you anywhere. Yeah, and I definitely feel like the school system itself, like, the focus on academics and stuff, like, that. of course that stuff is important Yeah, too, yeah. But... We also need to focus on, okay, what other skills does this person have? Like, 
can they let me see can they play like instruments like do they play sports because overall Pompano is a great school we have great academics but the focus you know is mostly on academics right, it's not right. on like extracurricular but I feel like it's normal like most colleges will look at and if it's a close tie between a person with good grades and they don't really have that much on their plate and somebody who has a bunch on their plate, a bunch of skills, they're going to go for the person yeah, with more skills. Yeah, of course. Skills. It's like when you, like, take a class, like, let's say Chinese or Spanish, like a language class. And then, of course, if you're going to go into, like, the business world, they're going to see that as, like, a prominent aspect and be like, oh, that's our guy or girl, right. whatever. But then most of the people who are so focused on getting those grades, like, I think it should be recognized that also developing skills should be something right. important, not... It should be equally on par with academics because yeah. they're both such important aspects as people that we should have. I feel everything is valuable, but the social construct that's been built around needing to have constantly these perfect grades to actually pass or get like a full ride or a scholarship, that kind of stuff, that's what really tears the students down and makes them lose complete motivation. Stressful. Yeah. So I feel like the need for change in the United States school system is really essential for students to actually start being more engaging into their classes and look forward to something in life. I feel that is definitely important. That's definitely the case. And also like in regards to homework, homework should be something that helps you learn, not something in excess or a large amount. Right? Yeah. So it's understandable and it's like valid if it's a nice amount for you to comprehend what you learn exactly. in class. But when it gets to the point where it's tedious and you're so focused to try to finish it and get it done where you don't have time to do basic things like be able to go exercise exactly. or be able to focus. Yeah. It should be top priority no matter what should be able to have students be at their best within And that themselves. leads exactly back to what I was saying. Like, if they don't have time to indulge in their actual interests, how are they supposed to get somewhere? If it's, it's all this material no motivation. Stuff. Yeah. They won't be able to do anything out of it because it's going to be like, okay, school, okay, great. But what about when your actual interests come to heart? Like, there's nothing exactly. to show for it if you don't, if there's not that interest there provided. Yeah. So it should definitely also be a priority up there. I feel like it's not as much of a priority. The passion needs to be, I feel like, modified so students can be more engaged into their actual interests. So then so maybe someday the whole entire system will be reconstructed to the point where we can actually succeed and enjoy doing what we want to become. It would be nice if there was a change somehow. Yeah. You know? So, I think that about wraps it up. That so, concludes it. <laughs> yep, that's, that's all, folks.